Gucci Man is trying to concoct up in this video. I'm probably wondering, why are people afraid to join Gucci Man's new label titled Icy Millionaires? I think that's what he said. Well, here's a list of all of the old artists or current artists who are signed under his 1701 label. And yeah, it doesn't have a happy ending. Correction, 1017. Now, under his old label, 1017, he had a record artist by the name of Pooh Shiesty. Y'all know Pooh Shiesty. He's currently serving eight years. Big Scar, may his soul rest in peace, had passed away. Enchanting stated here that she was on life support, but again, she also passed away. Fugiano, five years. Hot Boy West, 15 years. K Shitty, dropped by the label. Roboy Boy, also dropped by the label. And Hood Rich Pablo Quan is currently facing Rico charges. You can understand why. Even offering up a million dollars cash to a new artist might have new artists looking a little bit sideways. That's not all. Because when I got to the comments, somebody by the name of Real Naysayer said, that's rolling the dice with your, <laughs> with your life. It's really rolling the dice. Somebody by the name of Mr. Baby Oil said, he just signs, crashes out, puts them on life insurance. Again, this is all alleged. Gets them unalived. He collects from the life insurance and increases the streams from the artist as a posthumous album however you pronounce that now somebody else agreed yeah that's life insurance records now lady die also poses a good question what happened to the old label seen in the other screenshot a lot of those artists had passed away subsequently dropped by the label or are serving really hard prison sentences for other things so it's safe to say gucci man could take that million dollars and that other million dollars that he got keisha Kaor over there counting in her waist trainer and they could basically go shove it because anybody who has been signed to that label has lived such a hardened life it's actually not even worth the dollars and cents that they're counting up let me ask you all this would you sign to Gucci Man's record label after every single thing I had laid out in that video? Because I do not know, friend. Signing to Gucci, if it's going to be 1017 or IC Gay or whatever he called it, sounds mighty dangerous. Mighty, mighty, mighty dangerous, if you ask me. Wait, isn't it what all record labels do? Use their artists as cash outs? Allegedly, look at what Diddy did to Puffy. Big what? Big something. Big Puffy or what? I mean, that artist had so much promising going on in his career i mean diddy was allegedly allegedly multiple times accused accused of what was going on like he was accused okay he was accused and he seemed to have benefited from his death as well i don't know big notorious ah what did i call big notorious i mean yeah, I forgot his name. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I mean, that guy wanted to leave the label, right? And Eminem, as a side joke, said, um, mentioned something along. I forgot the track, you know, I forgot the track. But he mentioned it. If you know it, you know that he mentioned something. And then he was like, ah, side joking. But that guy, Big Notorious, wanted to leave. And then where did the most of the money go? I mean, that's what made, that's literally a contribution to his wealth as well. They, they utilize their artists as cash outs, you know, they'd be like, they are much better dead than alive. I mean, it's just that Gucci is doing it on a more obvious level. I mean, they're realizing that music is no longer making money. And this is going to get to the next point of the conversation. Rap is dying because 
y'all keep making people famous that y'all think are attractive instead of making people famous that actually have fucking talent. I just seen this clip from last year of Central C rapping because Central C to me is the fucking equivalent of Ice Spice, just the male version. I seen a clip from last year when Central C could not rap on the beat and so I guess his little buddy homeboy or something, Dave, got on the beat and fucking slid. And the fact that I'm just not seeing this fucking clip this year tells me everything that I need to know. Because somebody that has common sense say like Central C's manager, I would have seen Dave, I don't know if he signed or not, and I would have been like, yeah, that's the person that we need to be pouring more into. Because at the end of the day, talent is fucking talent, and that's not the only time that he done slid on the fucking beat. And y'all know I barely say anything good about the fucking UK, but at the end of the day, baby, you're not gonna lie about talent. Let's be for real. I'm really embarrassed that a lot of people that's in the UK think that Ice Spice is our like, female rap representation. And I'm really upset that Central C is y'all's. Like, that shit is embarrassing. Like, for this generation... Those are the people that y'all want to be our rappers. That shit is embarrassing. Barely have style. Barely can dress themselves. Don't have no talent for real, for real. Barely can slide on the motherfucking beat. You got people like Dolce out here. Bitch got style. Bitch is creative. Okay? Like, really popping her shit. And y'all refuse to let her get to, like, you know, the links that Ice Spice have. And then y'all wonder why rap is dying? It's your fucking fault. These are the people that y'all pouring to. You see them on your For You page. You reshare they shit. You interact with they shit. Even if you don't like their music, you still interact with it. So, of course, they're going to keep doing what the fuck they doing because that's what you react to. Instead of giving that same amount of time of hate that you giving to them and go give some love to somebody that's fucking deserving. Y'all, hold on, because I had to edit. Why the fuck I'm sitting up here and I'm trying to tag Central C? He got a blue check. I'm trying to tag Ice Spice. She got a blue check. I go to tag Dolce. She got 1.2 million followers and don't have a blue check. This is exactly what the fuck I be talking about. I mean, if you go on the long haul, look at... It started going... When capitalism becomes about money, you'll see that it started deteriorating when it started with Little Wayne. And there was a shift in culture. And then you realize immediately when capitalize, capitalism is not about pushing the message to the people, eventually that very same thing, the essence of it is going to die because it's diverting from that particular thing to something else completely different. So we moved from the big notorious to the Tupac era and the biggest artists of that generation ended up being unalived and people capitalizing off of their death and then how that made them a lot of money. And the people started to come up with ideas of how to cash out more money from these artists. And they realized, oh, they're worth more in death than they are alive. Look at, it's not even in rap. It's Look at what happened to Aliyah as well. You know, they were like, they are more beneficial to us alive. Well, they are more beneficial alive, but look at how they are worth dead. You know, look at XSX and... But they're all from different different generation, but they are worth more in death. So, or I don't know, but I hope you get what I'm saying because there's an industry that they're in. Okay, it's been like that. It deteriorates every year. It deteriorates more and more every year. And people like Gucci, label artists such as Gucci, it's just that he's not doing it on a professional level, just like Jay-Z. Beyonce with label records they're not doing it that it's so obvious to your face that people are like okay look at that one mm. Beyonce literally destroyed Chloe's career nobody talks about that okay they were more perfect as a do Hailey and Chloe they were more perfect as a as a duo than her doing whatever she's doing right now and so Labels are, are like that, okay? They capitalize, they need to make money off of you. And if you're not making money off of you, either in death or what, in jail, then they shelf you, basically. There's so many artists that go shelved because they make music that burn out and then they make another one and it burn out and they make another one. So that's the industry they're in.